So what upcoming projects do you have planned for uh, perform uh, places? <laughs> Well, we had something in the works, but with the current situation, I just don't, I don't know what, what will happen next. We had a, we had a little idea in mind that we were, that we were planning to do with, again, a lot of performers was the idea. So I don't know, I don't know when we might or might not be able to do it. I think, you know, the thing that's so hard about thinking back to the making of this work and, and looking at it now is just, you know, it was so much about this physical being in common, see? And like how powerful that can be, you know, and how, how, how much we connect to each other and how, how we do build community in these incredibly like rich and deep ways when we are physically together. <laughs> You know, and I think it's really hard, like, to, to actually, you know, think back to that kind of experience now when we're all so disconnected and so physically separated. Um, and it really makes me, like, sad, actually, to, to think about how long it might be before we're able to do something like that again. Yeah. Okay. But, I hope it won't be that long because I think these are important, these are important things to do. Like this is important. It's important to have these kinds of collective experiences. Yeah. And it will require us to, I think it will require us to kind of reimagine how to create these collective experiences mm -hmm. um, in a way that people do feel safe, you know, I mean, and some of these projects take a long time to actually be realized. So even, I mean, we did our first, you know, visit to the to Pleasant Hill on the eve of the election. Like we flew back into town um, on election day. That's right, Miranda. You were in your Hillary pantsuit. Yeah. Oh, was. <laughs> yeah. Uh. And, you just, you think, and now it's just. And now it's on the eve of the next election and it's getting shown in, it, it, in its yeah. full breadth of, of the, the spectrum of its iteration. Yeah, so a lot has changed. A lot has changed. And yeah, a lot has changed, changed in those four yeah. years. Yeah. yeah, so I think whatever we make going forward is gonna also ride a wave of what, what this time is churning up. And mm -hmm. we're in the depths of some of the most like, unimaginable unknowns mm -hmm. and there is within that there is hope i mean there is there is a vitality but it, it we're in a yeah a space of, of a lot of unknowns right now and so it's hard to imagine even a idea that we had six months ago looking any way like we thought then mm -hmm. so i don't know what the next piece is going to look like i'm very curious <laughs> yeah <laughs> well and it should be acknowledged, one of the reasons your um, thoughts and conversations are so valuable to us and the Speed is that um, a, an edition of the piece is being gifted to the Speed Art Museum, uh, thanks to the generosity of Jody and P.A. Howard. So it makes me so happy that we'll, there'll be um, a part of the piece that lives in the Speed collection forever. And also that this conversation will be an important documentation of uh, how it came into being. So um, thank you so much for that. I mean, yeah. we're so happy that it's it's going to have a permanent home in Louisville because, of course, this is a Kentucky piece. You know, it, it came about because of the support of people from Kentucky, and it was made for Kentucky in like every possible way. So this it just makes sense that it should be at the speed. Yeah, and this piece is also inspiring future work that's being done in Kentucky. Like we have a coming up fully digital cinematic mm -hmm. season, so there is much to to look at the piece uh, mm -hmm. that you or we've all created it together and see how this would help future mm -hmm. works that are being done. So thank you for that and for, you know. Fantastic, mm -hmm. so glad to hear it. Yeah, totally. mm -hmm.